Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm a student in University of Malaysia, Berlis. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Dakir, I want to ask you, uh, uh, now uh, there is many of people, they affect by Western. Uh, they say Western is better, uh, the strongest. So we have to follow them, uh, follow Western rules. Uh, and uh, also today we, uh, our uh, lecture is uh, Salam is the solution. So, uh, how can we uh, answer them and tell them Islam is the solution, especially in political? Most of most, uh, maybe Muslim, uh, uh, secular, they say uh, Islam only in masjid, not in political or all things uh, except only masjid what we have to say for them. Well, there are two questions. The first question is that today uh, the Western countries are strong, they are powerful, so we have to follow them. How can we say that Islam has the solution? As far as the first question is concerned, brother, I already give the reply that though these countries like USA say they are the most powerful country, it has the maximum number of theft in the world. What is the solution? Would you like to live in a country which has the maximum number of theft? You know, I've been to Western countries, USA, several times. Yes, it, uh, you, I know, but uh, you know, uh, you ask me the, the question, strongest. Whether you ask me the question. Yes, yes. Correct? So it's, after I finish the answer, then you can. Okay, okay. The reply I already gave in my talk. No. I gave the reply in my talk. I've been to USA several times. In most of the cities of USA, it is difficult to travel after midnight for fear that you will be attacked. So, would you like to live in such a country? Out of the statistics that is there in USA, when a woman passes from university, more than 95% have already had a sexual intercost before marriage. 95%. Would you like to stay in such a society? This is what they're trying to portray. This is called woman liberalization. I say it is nothing but a degradation of honor, deprivation of a soul, and exploitation of a body. So what they're saying, they advanced, is actually degrading them. We love our sisters, we respect our sisters. So if you follow Islam, Islam has the solution to the problems. If they say that if you see to it that a woman is not raped, is being subjugation, I love my woman to be subjugated. Because I don't like the woman to be raped. This is the reply. Coming to your second question. Coming to your second question. That some of the secular Muslims say that Islam is only meant to be followed in the mosque. These secular Muslims don't know what Islam is. For studying Islam, you have to go back to the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. And Islam is a deen, a complete way of life. It shows you the solution to all the aspects of life. Mosque is one aspect of ibadah. One aspect. Nowhere does the Quran or the Hadith say that Islam is restricted only to the mosque. Islam is a deen, a complete way of life. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, Inna deena in the al Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85, that if anyone desires any other religion besides Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And in the Akhirah, he will be amongst the losers. So Islam is a complete way of life. And the best example is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That he led a life as a prophet, he led a life as a statesman, as a statesman, he led a life as a politician. Today's politics is dirty. That time, if you want to see, see the seerah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. See the lifestyle of the four Khalifa Rashidin. You will come to know what a politician is. So if you want to emulate politics, see the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. See the life of the four Khulfa Rashidin. If you want to behave like a good father, look at Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look at the Sahabas. If you want to be a good Muslim man, look at the Sahaba. So we find in Islam a complete solution. Those people who don't have enough knowledge of Islam, it is lack of knowledge that they say that Islam is restricted to the mosque. It's important, very important, but it is a complete way of life. Hope that answers the question. Is that a lot of hair? Yeah.